Hey guys, this will be the weekly reading for Sagittarius. This could resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. This will be a general collective reading, so this will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But I do offer personal readings. If you're interested in that, there's information in the description box on how to book a personal reading with me. All right. Sagittarius. Put these cards for it. All right, guys. So it looks like something has come to an end here. Something has ended in your life where it's going to end. This is fated for the situation to come to a close. Or this is you guys going through a major transformation while being alone. After an ending, you guys are trans going through a transformation here. With the star here, we have a lot. That means that you guys are manifesting wish fulfillment. You guys are going through a lot of healing and renewal. Um, feeling a lot more optimistic. Being enlightened on some things. But things are looking up for you guys. Things are, you know, luck is on your side. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. So there's abundance manifesting for you, stability, a new beginning. For some of you, new career opportunities. Um, we also have the Nine of Cups here, guys. So wish fulfillment again. Happiness, fulfillment. Whether this is alone or with another person. Um, but I feel like you guys are looking at an ending, something that seemed very painful in the past. Realize you guys are looking at that differently. This was all a part of divine plan all right so you guys, some of you guys could have been dealing with a we have pisces energy here we have uh king of cups so pisces cancer scorpio energy um whatever this this is that's happening is divinely orchestrated there's some water sign around you guys that's or somebody that's very much in their feelings right now feeling trapped not sleeping well at night They're having fears and anxiety, not sleeping well at night, thinking about a, some type of commitment here. The high priestess. Their intuition is telling them that they need to come in with communication about maybe coming into union or having a commitment here. But for some reason, your person's not... This person's afraid of heartbreak. They want to have that with you, but they're afraid of communicating with you because they're afraid of getting their heart broken. They want to have this new passionate beginning with you. They want to have this reciprocity with you, collaborate with you, work together with you, um, apologize, and they want to ask for your forgiveness for something as well. Um, for maybe not be, not making up their mind in the past, looking at other options, uh, yeah, not making a decision here about maybe starting something new with you. But I feel like they've obtained some type of knowledge. They could be watching you guys as well. They could be spying on you. But I feel like for some of you guys who are dealing with an Aries. They could see... That maybe you guys are stepping into your power, watching you, seeing you step into your power. And that may be inspiring them to do the same thing. But I feel like they feel like you are going down a different path here. That maybe you're going to receive an offer from somebody else. And that...
they want to offer you something. Have this victory with you, invest in you now. But what's this Knight of Wands energy? Yeah, this person's going to be returning. And I feel like they're going to just do it very quickly. Like, things are going to just happen very quickly. Um, they're going to be saying something to you, speaking some type of truth to you. Um, but they've been trying to do is work up the courage to do so. All right. This person was trying to, maybe they had to move away from you to find peace, to find clarity. Maybe they felt like they couldn't see things clearly while you guys were dealing with each other. But I feel like this person may also want to come towards you. They may, if you guys live at a distance from each other, they want to travel to you. But this person seeing things clearly now. I see air energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is coming through as well. The fool. They're ready to take a leap of faith towards you now. They're ready to have a new beginning. Hmm. Let's get, get into the situation's oracle cards. more about what's going on here yeah this is somebody that you've been the relationship was put on a pause or you have not been speaking to this person the timing was not right for you and this person because this person had things that they still needed to heal from traumatized by something all right, we have projected. So something's going to be happening or changing here within the near future. Ooh, what's this? Ah, this person's jealous of something that they're seeing, I'm telling you. So what is that going to? Yep, oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> this is funny. This person is jealous of something that they're seeing. So they're going to pop up back into your life spontaneously out of nowhere. For some of you, they're going to show up at your house. I told you this person wants to travel to you. This person may have even wrote you a handwritten letter. Or they've been trying to figure out what to say to you. Like maybe they wanted to write you something. What's the hamster wheel? For somebody, so for some reason, this person, hmm, play more. I feel like this person may have been greedy in the past. This person wanted to keep things non-committal with you or on the down low with you to protect their money. And the divine stepped in and they protected you from this situation because this person, because of their intentions in the past. What's this roller coaster? Yeah, it's like they feel something with you that they don't have never really felt with somebody else. And I feel like they were in denial for a long time about their feelings or how you made them feel. This person has some toxic behaviors, ways of thinking. That was keeping them from living in illusions, not seeing things clearly. But they they couldn't deny this res, un, this pull they felt towards you. Very magnetic. They felt that you guys are very tuned into each other. You guys be very connected to each other. And for some, there's something in you. If you guys are energetically connected, there's something that's triggering this person to feel jealous or to feel like their time is running out.
Yeah, I feel like if this person, this person hasn't been, this has been silent for a while. They've been not taking action for a while, but they're going to be chasing after you here um, because they can't hold back much longer. All right. Let's go ahead and do um, some evolution of the soul cards. Somebody is stepping into their authenticity. Somebody is becoming, like, maybe somebody was. Somebody's just not wearing that mask anymore. They're taking off the mask. They're being themselves. Taking control of their life. They're headed down the, they're on the path of self-mastery. Somebody here, um, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. They always put others before themselves or you guys always put others before yourselves. You guys have learned a lot of valuable lessons in your life from give and take. All right. One of part of your purpose is here to be of service to others. Somebody is definitely offend us offending. Somebody is definitely ascending. We have level four. We have level three consciousness and we also have level four consciousness. So... I feel like somebody during this time, they, they started opening up more. They, they were becoming more sensitive. They started asking questions, looking, digging deeper, starting to establish their own values and acting on those. So that's why they're becoming this individual now. That's why they're being their authentic self, taking control of their life. All right. For some of you, culture is very, very important. Soul meant to transcend all cultures. Deep connection to ancestors. So you guys are deeply connected to your ancestors. And I feel like they're guiding you at this time too. They're with you. Some of you guys have spirit babies. Some of you guys are meant to have a spirit baby with this person. So this You will learn valuable lessons from this child. Or you guys already have a child that is teaching you valuable lessons or is going to. You guys have children that are meant to do great things in life. You will become a parent in this lifetime. So for some of you, I'm not going to say all of you, but for some of you, that is your path, but it's not going to be for all of you. All right, guys. So. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading. If you're interested in that, um, we're going to be taking a deeper look at the situation. Um, we're also going to be, I've also been drawing some career cards and I've also been drawing some um, spiritual gifts cards to take a look at that for you guys. Um, and then we're also going to be looking at each individual sign in the extended reading to see, because I know you guys are all dealing with different people. So we're going to be taking a look, look at each individual sign of the Zodiac and getting some channeled messages. All right, so if you're interested in that, like I said, the link will be in the description box. But if not, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.